what is up guys how you guys doing today hope you're all having an amazing day I know it's been a minute and I look different I look fatter I have a dad bod now kind of like it but um I know it's been a minute um last time I uploaded was seven months ago um, from looking at my screen right now it appears that the last video I did was when I had just gotten the exhaust system done on the Civic um, fast forward up to now seven months later um, after that I took off the resonator it's louder now I put a duck lip on the trunk um, and I believe I have the new um, window visors <sighs> now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking what happened why did I disappear from YouTube when I uploaded a video saying guess who's back and honestly there's not many ex there shouldn't be an excuse of why I left um, I kind of left for a lot of reasons mental physical emotional right now I'm struggling financially um, just been struggling um, last time I was on here I believe this was around the time when when I was um, going to be on TV for the show um, Tengo Talento. Um, those of you guys that follow me on social media, you guys would know. Um, if you guys follow him on the memes, he posted um, my performance. Um, honestly, it kind of knocked me back a bit after seeing all those negative comments. And I know that a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, like, bro, it's social media. You should have known how how bad the comment section gets, especially considering since I've had YouTube for quite some time already. And um, so, yes, I understand that. Um, but also the fact that I wasn't mentally ready for the for how brutal the comment section was get, gonna get for me being on that TV show. Um, after being on that show, it kind of um, kind of fucked me up a bit at the fact that <sighs> you know you go and try to live your dream, and just so many people fucking give you shit, tell you shit, and it just it fucked me up a bit, especially reading the comment section, which I know I shouldn't have done, but you know. A lot of people that go to chase out their dreams, ex you know, you're gonna run into shit. You're gonna run into people talking shit, people t giving you shit. So it's like, I should have expected it and um, known that something like that was gonna happen. Um, unfortunately, I don't have video footage of the performance. Um, pretty sure if I looked for it, I could find it. But um, I'm kind of just making this video out of nowhere right now. So I didn't really go into it with any thought process. So, um, so yeah. So for those of you guys that don't know, right now I still have my Civic, thankfully. I still have my Honda Civic. Um, I've been, I'm still in the, the car club with Omo, Omo Motorsports. So I'm thankful for that. And... You know, up to today, I had just, my mind hadn't been the best, it hasn't been the same ever since that performance, just because of everything that I had dealt with. Um, my nerves got the better of me that day, and I was just not on it. For, obviously, people see, saw on TV, I looked fine and normal, but for the people that didn't see behind, behind the scenes, like, what happened prior to it, is that right as I'm walking onto the stage, I had to walk onto the stage twice because the first time I guess there was a mic error and they couldn't hear me or nothing. So they cut and then they told me to go back on. So as soon as that happened, my I kind of just like started getting nervous and it fucked everything up because um, when I sang the song Bailando by Enrique Iglesias, um, I was supposed to start off in a different octave. I was supposed to start off in a deeper octave voice, which was gonna be Yo te miro se me corta la respiración. But because of me being nervous and the fact that they had me restart, um, 
I was already nervous enough talking to Ana Barbara, Don Cheto, uh, Luis Coronel. So it just added on top. So instead of me singing like that, I ended up, my fucking annoying ass voice went through. I was like, yo, yo, te miro, se me corta la respiración. And that's what fucked up the whole thing. But, you know, from what I remember that day, I remember being backstage and I was waiting for my turn. I remember with my head down, just talking to myself, giving myself a little pep talk. And I remember Luis Coronel was in front of me and he talked to me and he was like, you nervous? And I was like, honestly, bro, yeah, I'm pretty fucking nervous. And Luis told me, he's all like, don't worry about it. He's like, whether you make it or you don't make it, at the end of the day, when you leave here, don't stop and continue fighting for your dreams. Um, you know, everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna go through shit. Everybody's gonna, gonna chase their dreams and people are gonna talk down on you and make you give up on your dreams because there's people out there that don't want to see other people succeed. And, you know, it, after all that, it kind of just threw me off really bad. And I had I, I didn't want nothing to do with social media. I didn't want nothing to do with social media. I didn't want to want to be on social media no more. Um, I kind of stopped uploading on everything. Uh, majority of the time now, I just upload, like, videos of me and my daughter. Um, the time that we spent together. Um, if you guys, yeah, like, if you guys see right here, this is my daughter's little sofa. Her little mini mouse sofa. And I have her little her little jumper thing right here. But up to now it's like it's been a little crazy. Um am I gonna get back on YouTube? Yes I am. Um I had a I had a talk today with um with Drew. If you guys know who Drew is, he's the the owner of Omo Motorsports. And you know, I'm not going to get into detail, just because a lot of it's um, personal stuff of Drew, and I have no right to talk about his personal stuff that he trust, that he entrusted with me when he talked to me today. But what, what, what I will say is that Drew kind of helped me realize that I can't always let the comment section get to me. And I've been knowing that, but, you know, when you have the whole fucking city your whole hometown on your back, it, it gets to you. But you know, one thing Drew helped me realize and that kind of brought back a little spark is that, you know, I didn't expect to hear this from Drew when he told me that every time that I uploaded, apparently he actually watched my videos, that it would motivate him to go and upload because he saw me somebody that somebody that has to grow the courage to upload videos of them singing when they know they're not the best and it motivated him because it's like here's somebody who gets bashed in the comment section doesn't give a shit and still uploads constantly and does what he has to do and you know the fact that I heard him say that my videos motivated him to keep on uploading meant a lot because you really don't hear those kind of words from anybody you know i've only probably been told twice in my life that i motivate them to become better and you know it kind of again it made me realize that i can't always you know i can't always let the the negative things get the better of me so, this isn't going to be a full-on YouTube video. This isn't going to be... I'm not going to go out and vlog right now. Believe it or not, I actually have vlog footage because I have tried vlogging before. And it just doesn't go good for me. I just turn off the camera and never upload the video. I have multiple videos. But, this is just a way of me expressing and giving my explanation as to why... I got off social media, why I got off of YouTube. And, you know, I'm not saying this is the end. I'm not saying that I'm closing this channel. I'm not saying that I'm deleting this account. All I am simply saying is just wait on it. I can't tell you what I have been planned. I can't tell you, I can't tell you what the next steps are. But one thing I can tell you and promise you 
is that there's a lot of great and amazing things coming to this channel. Whether it's uploading more about the Civic, about the car club, about Oma Motorsports, about my jobs, about me getting to work with celebrities, me doing this, me doing that. There's a lot of things that I have planned. Um, I just don't want to talk about it. But there's a lot of things coming. That's all I'm going to say. And best believe after today, my first, first official YouTube video on being back on this channel is going to be December 1st where I will be partaking for the first time in <laughs> give me a second guys I, I, I'm trying to see when was what year I started doing YouTube and um, when what my first video was which was a pretty long time ago so for the first time in four years that I've been on YouTube or actually almost five years I will be partaking in vlogmas which is where I vlog every day where I will vlog every day for the for the month of December all the way till the new year. So if you guys really really want to see that, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and remember to turn your post your post notifications on so you are notified when a new video is up. I am gonna be working on different content. I'm gonna be vlogging, I'm gonna be doing videos at night also where I upload more reaction videos, top scariest video, me talking about stories. Me talking about my work environment, how one of my jobs right now hasn't paid me for almost two weeks and they owe me freaking hours from like three months. That's a whole story. But definitely I got a lot coming for you guys. So just mark it down December 1st. We're officially back in full grind mode. <laughs> so can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to start uploading again. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.